Ralph, I learned that you are the NCD project officer with our, within this diocese of Brisbane, Anglican Diocese of Brisbane here. And this is an official job. I mean, you have been installed here by the bishop to do this ministry. Can you share about that? Well, I've been doing it for three years now, and there's one more year to run. Uh, I run a project for the Anglican Diocese of Brisbane to recruit and assist and coach and help a group of parishes, significant group of parishes, to use NCD to see how it goes. You know, And we've got um, now 45% of the Anglican Diocese of Brisbane of its parishes, 63 parishes enrolled. Um, and uh, we're moving, moving through the process really quite well. Yeah. Is this a thing that is primarily attractive, let's say, to more evangelical-oriented churches or charismatic-oriented churches, or what about the liberals? Yeah. Well, we have all the different traditions in the Anglican Diocese of Brisbane represented, evangelical, charismatic, more liberal ones, but it's certainly been attractive, I think, in a more liberal Catholic type diocese. I think the research, the rationality of it, the uh, you know just the whole methodology. It's, but it's across the across all the traditions. What are the results that you can see in uh, by investing in this process? Well, the uh, we're seeing in the progressing parishes that have done it two or more. We're seeing a very distinct lift of quality across um, all the characteristics. Seven point five points on the NCD scale. It's coming up. It's a really quite dramatic lift in quality, and we're seeing some of the fruit being reported in uh, evaluations and in other areas. The other thing that's been very interesting is we've now identified the, if you like, the key issues that are holding back the development and growth of the Anglican Diocese of Brisbane, and we're starting to focus on those at um, at a diocesan level. What are they? Well, first of all, the Bible, connecting the Bible and life. Connecting the Bible and experiencing God, these are the issues. So uh, we're, we're getting support, of course, from the Archbishop of Brisbane and the leaders to really start exploring what's going on. Uh, several years ago, the diocese started asking parishes to tell them uh, the number of Anglicans, adult Anglicans, involved in faith formation groups. We've only had a couple of years of data. But uh, last year, the figures for last year, had a 3,000 member jump uh, from the previous year, from 7,000 odd to 10,000 odd. When I looked at the numbers, the actual numbers coming down the list, and identified parishes using NCD and those not using NCD and that had rises, um, approximately 35, I think, parishes using NCD had that uh, the, the largest amount of that rise had come from parishes using NCD. So it appears that already the on-the-ground emphasis on studying the Bible and the fellowship through the NCD is actually having an effect. It's a very dramatic change. Ralph, with these experiences, I believe there are how many uh, dioceses? 23 dioceses in yes, Australia? Yes, 23 dioceses in Australia. Um, what is about the other dioceses? Are they encouraged what, by what you are doing here? Are there other attempts in a similar direction? Can you share about that? Well, I think it is actually getting, uh, NCD is getting some penetration in the Anglican Church of Australia. There are, you know, Brisbane, Tasmania are using it, Bunbury and the Riverina Diocese. Uh, it is done, of course, in different parishes around the country. Um, one of the bishops who's here today at this conference, he said to me last year that the um, NCD and the Diocese of Brisbane has changed the language of the Diocese of Brisbane, the way we think and talk about our church. So yes, NCD, Natural Church Development, is getting some, having some impact across the nation of Australia, which is what I actually had in mind when I got involved in this uh, three years ago.